This short video will show you how to use the new Boneway Copy add-on and Blender 2.59 to copy weights from the avatar to your clothing item. Unlike copy attributes, these do not have to have the same vertices. And if you remember this file, it was from the SL Mesh Rigged tutorial series. Some people have asked me um, about the t-shirt and the LODs for the t-shirt and the physics shape. If you want to try out this file yourself, just leave me a message on my YouTube channel and I'll be happy to send you a copy of the blend file so that you can play with the t-shirt and the LODs and skinning yourself. So let's look at this script. I showed you how to install it in the last video. So now what we want to do is just take a look at this and how it compares to the 2.49 script, which is a little different. Now, interpolation is the same as it was before. So the higher you go up, the better the weighting will be. The more accurate the weighting will be you go from the avatar to the clothing item. And of course, the higher you go, the longer it will take to process. Unlike the 2.49 script, there is no progress bar, so you have no idea how long it's running for, which can be a problem. So, you may want to leave it on one just to do your testing and then move it up to three when you have everything in place. Now we have these two check boxes. Only named phones. Basically, we don't need this. If you did follow my tutorial, you don't need to check this because we took all the morph morphs out of the avatar when we did the cleanup for the setup of this um, file. So there are no unnecessary morphs inside here. But if you're going to go ahead and use a file that still contains morphs, you could check this so that those morphs won't get copied. So it's a good win-win situation there if you want to keep the morphs in the file. Because the morphs are handy for other work, which I'll probably try to do a video on sometime soon. Now, copy empty groups. We do need that because remember that in... The video we added input right and input left so that we could have a essential list of bone names so that we wouldn't have a problem uploading our clothing later so these two groups don't have any vertices in them they're empty so you want to copy you want to check that to copy those it does work if you have it on different layers so you can have no different layers it doesn't matter but they do they both have to be visible. And just like we did before, we want to click the shirt first and then click the avatar to make the avatar the active object. And then we just want to push copy bone weights. Now, as I said, no progress bar. You have no clue when it's going to finish. And then it looks as if it crashes, but it actually has not crashed. It's still working in the background, it's still going along. Even though it says not responding and it looks like it crashed, but it hasn't, so don't worry. You should give it about 5 to 10 minutes. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. If it takes more than 10 minutes, it probably means your clothing item is way too heavy, it has way too many vertices. So for anything reasonable, it should take at the most 10 minutes. It may be a little bit higher if you're you have the interpolation set up to three. But now it's finished and you can see it's finished because the highlighting on the avatar and the shirt are gone. And you don't see the script over here. So now if we check this, check the shirt. The shirt that didn't have any vertex groups now has all the vertex groups from the avatar. It even has the empty groups. And we go over to weight paint mode 
we can see that it has weights also. It's great, great news for the people who want to use 2.59. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.